Good morning, children. I hope you're all ready for sports day. We're super ready. I've been practicing running and jumping. And I've been practicing throwing and catching. Excellent. Well, let's all get warmed up. Oh dear, it's raining. Looks like we won't be able to have our sports day after all. Hurry, children, let's head inside before we all get soaked. Oh, I was really looking forward to sports day. Not to worry, children. Perhaps we can have our sports day inside instead. Inside? inside? Yes, there are lots of fun things we can do inside when it's raining. Hooray! Our first event shall be the egg and spoon race. Yay! I love an egg and spoon race. The egg and spoon race is about more than just speed. You have to have lots of balance and care as well. Is everybody ready? Ready! ready. Okay then, on your marks, get set, go! Whoa, this is harder than it looks. <laughs> You'll never catch me. <laughs> we'll see about that. Careful children, remember both you and your eggs need to cross the line. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> Congratulations, George! You are the winner! <laughs> Oops, never mind. On to the next event. Let's see what our next event shall be. Ooh, Ooh art! That's one of my favourite subjects. Let's see who can paint the best picture of themselves. What colours shall we choose, I wonder? Can I have a pink, please? But Susie, I need to use the pink as well. Maybe we can share. OK. <laughs> wow! These are all so wonderful, children. And who's this, George? Dinosaur! Rawr! Can we put them on the wall so everyone can see them? Of course we can. What a wonderful idea, Peppa. OK, last one. Let's theme this activity around music. <laughs> How about we play musical statues? I'll play the music on my guitar and you all dance along. When the music stops, you all need to stop dancing and stand still. <laughs> this is going to be fun. <laughs> Silly George, you were supposed to stop dancing when the music stopped. Never mind, George. How about you come up here and help me play some music for Peppa and Susie? Drum! OK, time for round two. Slow down, George. I'm not sure I can play that fast. Phew, I'm exhausted. This was the best indoor sports day ever. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! 
yum yum. These ice creams are scrum diddly doodly umptious. <laughs> Oh no, George, your ice cream. <gasps> oh no, my ice cream. Oh dear. Well, not to worry. We can go back to Grandpa Pig's ice cream stand and get another. <laughs> it's a disaster. My ice cream cart has broken down and all the ice cream has melted. Oh, no! I'm sorry, everyone, but there'll be no more ice cream today. Aww. 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 Mummy, why don't we go and get our ice cream van from home? That's a fantastic idea, Pepper. Hold tight, everyone. <laughs> Out of one truck and into another. Yay! <laughs> ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Madame Gazelle, what would you like? I'd like a vanilla ice cream and a cone, please. Coming right up. There you go. Yum, yum, yum. Thank you, Peppa. Hello, Peppa. Can I have one scoop of strawberry and one scoop of chocolate, please? One scoop of chocolate and one scoop of strawblet. Whoops. <laughs> there you go. Yay. Thanks, Peppa. <laughs> Hi, Peppa. Can I have a mango sorbet with raspberry sauce and a flake, please? Um, a mango raspberry flake sauce? So that's a blueberry muffin ice cream sundae with walnuts, fizzy sprinkles and chocolate sauce. Um, it was actually a chocolate sundae with almonds and blueberry sauce. Oh no, this is so confusing. Looks like you need a little help there, Pepper. Yes, please, Grandpa. This ice cream making is so much harder than I thought. You just need a bit of practice. Here. Why don't you scoop the ice cream and I'll tell you which colours to scoop. OK, Grandpa. A scoop of yellow, a scoop of red, a squeeze of green sauce, one more scoop of orange. That's one banana split with strawberry slices and coconut frosting. Yummy, yummy. We did it. Well done, Pepper. We make quite a team. It was so much fun. Whoops, we forgot one very important customer. Leave this one to me, Grandpa. <laughs> well done, Pepper. An ingenious ice cream invention. <laughs> oh, George. <laughs> Today, Mummy and Daddy Pig are taking Pepper and George on an adventure in their brand new motorhome. Wow! This is the biggest, bestest car I have ever seen! Well, Pepper, it's not actually a car, it's a motorhome. I wonder where we should go first. I'm not sure. I suppose we could go anywhere we like. What do you think, George? The motorhome is in a rocket ship. We have to pick somewhere we can drive to. I know. How about we go on a mountain adventure? That's sort of close to the moon. That sounds amazing. I'm going to climb all the way to the top. That's a wonderful idea. Let's go. <gasps> Puddle! George, no! <laughs> oh dear. Well, we can't go on a road trip with all this mud on the motorhome. We won't be able to see where we're going. Daddy and I will get this mess cleaned up and we'll be on our way in no time. 
Phew! This is a lot bigger than our regular car. I think we might need some extra help from Pepper and George. Good idea. Pepper! George! Hmm, I wonder where they could be. I think they must be playing hide and seek. <laughs> Let's try and find them. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are looking for Pepper and George. They must be around here somewhere. <laughs> that sounded like Pepper. I think it came from over there by the swimming pool. <laughs> That's strange. I was sure that I heard Pepper's oink over here. <laughs> That was definitely George's oink. I think it came from the kitchen. <laughs> They're not here either. They must be very good at hiding. That was definitely Pepper and George. They must be in the upstairs bedroom. Where could they be? Boo! No! Oh, there you are. <laughs> we fooled you. <laughs> you certainly did. We thought we were never going to find you. Clearing the mud off the motorhome was a lot more work than we thought. Yes, all that work has made me hungry. I know. Maybe George and I could make you a snack before we go on a mountain adventure. That's a wonderful idea. Thank you. OK. First, we need to stir the cookie mixture. I can do that. Perfect. Now, we need to make one cookie for each of us. How many is that, George? One, two, three, four. That's right. One for you, one for Pepper, one for me, and one for Daddy Pig. Yum! They look delicious. Can we eat them now, please? Not yet, Pepper. First, we have to bake them. Yummy! They smell scrumptious. Why don't you take them to Daddy Pig? I'm sure he's hungry after cleaning all the mud off the motorhome. <laughs> Look, Daddy, we made cookies, one for each of us. Oh, just what I needed. Puddle! George! <gasps> oh dear, now I'm all messy. <laughs> you look like a giant cookie, Daddy. <laughs> Pepper and George are very excited because tonight they are putting on a special music concert for their family. Tonight's the big night. I can't wait to see you and George play your instruments for everyone. How many people are going to be watching? Well, there's Mummy, Grandma and Grandpa and your teacher, Madam Gazelle. Daddy, that sounds like a lot of people. What if I make a mistake and everyone laughs at me? No one's going to laugh at you, Peppa. And besides, you've been practising really hard. I know, but I don't think I'm ready. Well, why don't we have a dress rehearsal? What's a dress rehearsal? We can pretend we're doing the concert for real, so that when tonight comes, it won't feel so scary. That might work! Everybody ready? Drum, 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 drum! Okay, let's go. Three, two, one. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, whoa. Hooray! We did it! Very good. I'm sure you'll get a big round of applause at the end. Now we can make the room look like a real concert hall. First, we'll need somewhere for people to sit so they can see you playing. Hmm, how about...
about the sofa. Yes, that'll do nicely. Let's move it in front of the stage. Bouncy drum, bouncy drum, bouncy drum, bouncy. <laughs> Come on, George. I can't move the sofa with you bouncing on it. <laughs> Goodness, it's very heavy. A little to the left. A little to the right. A little more. There, perfect. You, now, will need some light so people can see you properly. Hmm, maybe we can use some lamps. That'll look very nice. Can you see me? Yes, Peppa. You look brilliant. I'm going to go and get dressed. The audience will be here soon. This is all very exciting. Yes, the stage looks wonderful. Everybody, put your hands together and welcome to the stage, Peppa and George. Ready, Peppa? Ready. Okay. One, two, three. Hey. What happened to the lights? I think there must have been a power cut. How are we going to play if we can't see? Don't worry, Pepper and George. It was a dark walk over here, so we all brought torches. Wow! This feels just like a real concert now. Ready, everybody? One, two, three. Excellent, Pepper and George. Now we have to take a bow. Hooray! <laughs> Ice cream! Mm. It's tasty, isn't it? I wonder if Pepper and Daddy Pig will end up eating it all in their special ice cream truck. <laughs> <laughs> ice cream, ice cream, come and get your yummy ice cream here. Oh, not so fast, Pepper. We need to set up first. flavours of ice cream look so yummy. Oh, they sure do, Peppa. Which one would you like to try before we open up the shop to customers? Strawberry, please. Coming right up. <laughs> oh my, looks like we have some customers, Peppa. <laughs> Hi, Peppa. Hi, Susie. Hi, Mandy. Hi, Peppa. Could we please have some ice cream? Of course you can. You're our customers, Mandy. <laughs> Why don't you both choose which flavour you like the look of? Ice cream, ice cream. Yes, George, there is lots more. You just need to wait for the ferris wheel to finish spinning. Mm. Thank you, Pepper. Uh-oh. Whoa, it's raining ice cream. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, Pedro. Don't worry, Mrs. Pig. I love chocolate ice cream. Mmm. It's okay, I'm all clean now. Good. 
Why don't you come with me and George to our ice cream truck? A whole truck filled with ice cream. Yes, please. Peppa, I didn't know you had an ice cream truck. Yes, Pedro, and the ice cream is delicious. Oh, -ho! George, would you like to serve our next customer? Yay! Hmm. Can I have strawberry, please, George? Yeah. <laughs> You can give the cone to the customer, George. Ice cream, ice cream! <laughs> oh. oh, Pedro, I'm sorry. George loves ice cream too much to be an ice cream seller. Hey, I have an idea, Pedro. Oh, my goodness. What an excellent idea, Peppa. This will test all of our ice cream making skills. Pedro, hold on one moment, please. OK, Peppa. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, that's the biggest ice cream I've ever seen. It's going to get as tall as the Ferris wheel. Seventeen. Nineteen... Twenty! Phew! I can't believe it! A twenty scoop ice cream! I don't think I'm ever going to be able to finish this! Ice cream! Ice cream! Don't worry, Pedro. I know somebody who would be very happy to help. <laughs> Look at me! Wow, Susie! Three, two, one... Splash! Did you see the big splash? That was an impressive jump, Susie! Wow, Susie! That was great! Thanks, Peppa! What's wrong, Peppa? I thought you liked coming to the swimming pool. I do, but I want to dive like Susie and make big splashes. But you can. The diving board, it's too high and scary. Hmm, I think I know something that might help you. Mummy, what's that storybook? Oh, Peppa, this is not just any storybook. This is a magical story. Ooh, magical? That's right. What's it about? Well, it's a book about a very, very magical piggy and a very magical pool. Please, will you read it to me, Mummy? Of course. Ahem. <clears throat> this is a story about the magical pool. Once upon a time, there was a very magical pool. The magical pool was watched over by a princess pig who would sing to the water to keep its magic glowing. La, 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 la. Um, Mummy, could the princess pig be giant? <laughs> I... <clears throat> yes, Peppa, of course, why not? The giant princess pig kept singing her magical songs to the water. But then something happened. The water disappeared. Oh no, that's not a nice story. Don't worry, Peppa, it's not finished yet. The princess tried to bring the water back with her singing, but her magic powers didn't work in this way. <sighs> the princess had to find water from somewhere. But where will she find water from, Mummy? I don't know, Peppa. There's lots of water here. If only we could give the princess some. But how could we do that, Mummy? It would be difficult. 
But if someone could make a big splash, that might be enough to reach the princess. Oh, I can do it. I can make a big splash. Are you sure, Peppa? Yes, I'll make the biggest splash ever and help the princess. Ooh, it's very high. You can do it, Peppa. Yay, Peppa. Three, two, one. Splash! It worked. The magic pool was full again and the princess was happy she could sing to it. The end. Did you enjoy that, Peppa? 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 Up here, Mummy! <laughs> Whoa! My goodness, these balloons are sweeping me off my feet. <laughs> I just know all of the children are going to love these. Let's tie them up here ready for the morning. Right, class, who's ready for our very exciting adventure to the balloon park? Yay! 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 Excellent! Follow me! Madam Gazelle, hello children. Mrs. Pig, look at me. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Very cool, Gerald. <clears throat> Could I speak to you about something? <laughs> the balloons have gone where? Oh no! What's wrong, Madam Gazelle? Oh, um, well... Mummy Pig and I had brought a bunch of balloons here for you to play with, but they seem to have flown away. Oh no! But wait! Look over there! There's a balloon! I bet there are balloons loose all around here. Why don't we try to find them all, Madam Gazelle? Oh, you children always impress me. What a wonderful idea. Let's call it Project Balloon Bonanza. Hooray! <laughs> Look up there. It's a balloon. Good spot, Rebecca. Children, do you think you have what it takes to reach it? Yay! <laughs> Just need to untie it. See a balloon anywhere. Balloon! George, maybe if you swung on the swing it would free the balloon. You all 
did such a fantastic job finding the balloons. You should all be very proud. But it was so much fun. We got to see all the attractions in the balloon park. Ooh, what's this attraction? This is the balloon ride. Now that we found all the balloons, it's time for the real balloon bonanza to start. Ooh. What's the matter, Peppa? You look sad. I am a bit, Madam Gazelle. I wish it was snowing so we could build a snowman. Yeah. And we could all do snow angels. Oh, that would be so much yeah. fun. Would you all like a snowy day then? Yes! Yeah! But Madam Gazelle, it's not snowing outside. Correct, Peppa. It's not snowing outside, but we can make it snow inside. Inside? It can't snow inside, Madam Gazelle. Oh, yes, it can. I want you all to imagine it's snowing in the classroom. You must focus. Are you doing it? It's snowing! See what we can do with our imagination? Let's make snowballs! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Yay! Oh. Let's make snow angels! Let's make a snowman! Yay! 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 <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Look, Madam Gazelle! We made a snowman! Madam Gazelle? Where's Madam Gazelle? Hmm. Oh, sorry, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> Excellent imagination and artwork, children. <laughs> did you have a good day at school today, Peppa? What did you do? Oh, yes, Daddy. It was a great day at school. We played in the snow. Oh, the snow? Oh, what a wonderful imagination you have, Peppa. <laughs> hmm. <sighs> oh, Teddy, it's Christmas Eve. I'm too excited to sleep. <sighs> oh, Peppa, what are you still doing awake? It's Christmas tomorrow. I know, Daddy, but I'm too excited to sleep. <laughs> you too, George. Hmm, it sounds like you both need a relaxing Christmas bedtime story. Yes, please, Daddy. What would you like it to be about, Peppa? I like stories about nurses, Daddy. I always play nurses with Susie. Aha! Twas the boo boo before Christmas. Teddy was feeling sad. They had fallen over and hurt their little paw. But Nurse Pepper and Nurse Susie were there and they would make sure that Teddy was feeling better and could have the best sleep ever. There, there, Teddy. You're looking better already. Nurse Susie knew what would cheer Teddy up. Some music! Snow, snow, snowy snow on a winter day. 
Teddy. <laughs> Let's check your little paw, Teddy. Look at that, Teddy. You're all better. And do you know what day it is tomorrow? Teddy didn't know it was Christmas tomorrow. <laughs> Teddy, it's Christmas tomorrow. Look at all the snow. <laughs> Teddy finally understood. She was feeling so much better thanks to Nurse Pepper and Nurse Susie. <laughs> and George, of course. Now, Teddy, Christmas will come sooner if you get a good night's sleep. That's right. I think it's time for us all to go to sleep. Ho oh, ho! So, what did you think? Oh! I suppose it worked. See you tomorrow, little piggies. Gerald. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to play a game of hide and seek? Yay! Okay, everybody hide and Mummy Pig and I will come and find you. Ready? One, two, three, four. Ready or not, here we come. We've got five little ones to find, so we better get started. <laughs> Where did that noise come from? <laughs> there it is again. <laughs> Gerald, <laughs> you're a bit too tall to hide in there. Oops. <laughs> five minus one is four. Four little ones to find. <laughs> I think I see Rebecca. <laughs> oh, silly me. It's just a picture. <laughs> Did I just hear a little giggle? <laughs> yes, I definitely heard a little giggle. <laughs> there you are, Rebecca. That's two down and three to go. Whee! <laughs> I wonder if someone's in the motorhome. Hmm, where could those noises be coming from? Oh, no one in here. Are they in the bedroom? Oh. Nope, not there either. How about the bathroom? Nothing. Where could that squeaking noise be coming from? <laughs> ho ho! <laughs> George, I found you! <laughs> That's three down and two to go. Did I just see someone go down the pole? Susie Sheep, there you are. Found me. <laughs> There's five little ones. We found four of them, so that just leaves one. Peppa. Yippee. Where could she be? Keep an eye out for clues, Detective Pig. Oh. Look, muddy footprints. I know someone who loves splashing around in muddy puddles. Come on, team. Let's all follow the footprints and see if we can find Pepper together. <laughs> <laughs> we see, see you, you Pepper. Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> found me. We found them all. And what better way to celebrate than jumping in a great big muddy puddle? <laughs> 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 
Somebody's at the door. It must be the postman. The postman? The postman! Maybe it's a parcel full of surprises. <laughs> it is a parcel. Oh, <laughs> what a big parcel. Can you see who it's for? Dear Pepper and George, from Granny and Grandpa Pig. Oh, can we open it, Daddy? Of course you can. <laughs> it's a box of paints and paintbrushes. Wow, imagine what we could paint with this. <laughs> Cheddar, my favourite! Well, while you three have fun with your new paint kit, I'm going to go and water the petunias. Um de dum de dum dum. I'm so excited to. Wait a second. Where did the paints go? <laughs> My parcel arrived. Hello, Grandpa Pig. <laughs> What's wrong, Peppa? You seem worried. Oh, oh dear. The house is covered in paint. Don't panic. I'm sure the paint will wash off. Hooray! Hooray! We need some soapy water, some sponges, and we need to get this paint off before Mummy and Daddy Pig see it. Here we are. Super soapy water and super spongy sponges. There's just one more thing. We need some clean-up music. It's my favourite song! <laughs> Silly Grandpa, let's get cleaning! I've never seen the house so clean. You can hardly tell it was covered head to toe in paint. In what? Nothing. Oh, I'm sleepy. Me too. I think it's time for a good night's sleep. Come on, Mandy. I'll take you home. Bye-bye, oh, Mandy. Bye-bye, Peppa. I'll put the little ones to bed. Good night, Peppa. Good night, Grandpa. Thanks for the surprise parcel. Oh, that reminds me. I've got one last surprise for you. If you count these sheep, You'll fall straight to sleep. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Mademoiselle. 
Today is a very special day because we're going to be learning all about dinosaurs. Yay! My brother George loves dinosaurs. Who here can tell me something about dinosaurs? They've got big, stompy feet. Very good, Pepper. Anyone else? They have big, swooshy tails. Yes, Daddy. The Diplodocus has a tail that's 15 meters long. I love the Dimbledogus. Ooh, they have really loud roars. Roar! And great big teeth for munching. Well, I'm very impressed. You all clearly know a lot about dinosaurs, which is a good thing, as today you're going to be making your very own dinosaur model. Hooray! You can all use the crafting supplies from the cupboard. Let's get to work! Ooh. I'm going to make the big stompy feet. Dinosaurs like muddy puddles too. <laughs> this can be the body, a spotty body. And these can be the claws. Roar! Watch out for the swishy swashy tail. It needs big eyes so it can see all its dinosaur friends and big teeth so it can smile at them. Done! Wow, it's not like any dinosaur I've ever heard of. It's much, much better. I'm awarding this dinosaur first prize. Yay! You know what that means. Home time. Mummy, Daddy, can I show George the dinosaur we made? Of course you can. <gasps> dinosaur! <laughs> George, I hear you're quite the dinosaur expert. What do you think of our model? It's a silly billy saurus. <laughs> <laughs> What a great idea, George. We can make it a moving dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> Oop, I think someone's hungry. Me. Let's see. <gasps> no food. No food. Oh dear. Well, I guess we'll have to go on an adventure to the supermarket. Hooray! <laughs> Okay, Pepper and George, I've got a fun supermarket challenge for you both to do. I love a challenge! Here's a shopping list. If you can find everything on this list, you'll win a special prize. How exciting! Come on, George, let's go. I can give you a ride in the trolley. <coughs> First on the list, carrots. Can you see carrots anywhere, George? There they are. Well done, George. Now to put them in the trolley. <laughs> I think you might need to get out and walk, George. Okay, what's next? Bread and cheese. Hmm, if I was a piece of cheese, where would I be? There, I found it. 
But wait! There's no bread and cheese here! Wow! Secret bread and cheese! This really is an adventure! Next on the list, cornflakes! There they are! George, could you get a box of cornflakes, please? <gasps> Silly George! We better put all these boxes back straight away! <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> Perfect! Next we need... Ice cream! Yummy, yummy, yummy! This way, George! <laughs> Perfect! Almost done, George. Just a few more things to get. That's everything, George. Let's go and find Mummy and Daddy. Is it me, or did it suddenly get chilly in here? We're back, we're back! We found everything, Mummy, even the ice cream! <sighs> did you remember to close the freezer door? Uh, I'll be right back! <laughs> Whoops! Well done! But the challenge isn't over yet! First, we've got to buy everything! <laughs> And then we've got to get them all home. <laughs> and finally, we need to put them all away. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Well done! You completed the challenge! And now for your special prize! With all these yummy ingredients I can make... Chocolate chip cookies! Who wants freshly baked cho... Maybe later then. I'm so excited for playgroup today. I'm going to make the prettiest mask ever. I can't wait to see it, Peppa. <gasps> oh no! Where is Madame Gazelle? I hope she gets in soon so we can make our glittery masks today. She must be running late. Maybe she's trying to find art supplies for our lesson today, Peppa. Don't worry, everyone. We can make our masks ourselves. We have a lot of art supplies already. We'll wait here with you all until Madame Gazelle arrives. Yes, and I think it's a lovely idea to get started and show Madame Gazelle the lovely masks you make. have an idea. We just need to pretend that Madame Gazelle is here with us. Great idea, Mandy! <laughs> right, everybody, who's ready to make some glittery masks? I didn't expect it to come to life. <laughs> Don't worry, Mandy. 
It's only me. Let's make Madame Gazelle proud. <laughs> <laughs> okay, class. <clears throat> Let's see what lovely creations you've all come up with in today's Arts and Crafts lesson. Great job, everyone. Wouldn't it be nice to make Madame Gazelle a mask too? Oh, yes, Mummy! But what sort of mask would Madame Gazelle like? I have an idea. I think I know what kind of mask Madame Gazelle would like. Because it's Mummy Pig's favourite kind. Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> 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 oh, I'm so... Sorry I'm late, everyone. I was... My goodness! You've all made your masks and they're lovely! I'm so proud of you all! Thank you, Madame Gazelle. We remembered everything you taught us. Besides, I, Madame Gazelle, have been here the whole time. Ha ha ha! Madam Gazelle, we thought about what sort of mask you might like. That's right. Could you please close your eyes? My goodness. Yes, okay, Susie. <laughs> Ooh, heaven. You can relax, Madam Gazelle. You have been rushing around all morning. Besides, we have you here all the time now. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> it's a lovely morning and Peppa and her friends are at a playgroup. Good morning, children. Uh -oh. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Ah, that's lovely. Now, I hope you have all done your homework. Yes, Madame Gazelle. Excellent. What have each of you decided to do for our playgroup talent show? I will be singing a song. <coughs> me, 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 me. I will be doing a dance. I will be making everyone laugh with my funny jokes. Ooh, I do love to laugh, Emily. And what about you, Danny? I will be doing some magic tricks, like this. Abracadabra, ziggity zat. On the top of my head is now a hat. Ah. And my talent will be jumping in muddy puddles. <laughs> All of the children are very talented. Wonderful, wonderful. Let's go to the theatre so we can get lots of practice before the big show. Hooray! This is so exciting. I have never been on a real stage before. Me neither. Look at all the space I will have to sing my song. And look at all the different places I can sing. There are even sound effects for my magic tricks. Oh dear, it looks like Rebecca Rabbit is feeling a bit nervous. Are you all right, Rebecca? Oh, uh, well, I didn't know the stage would be so big. Don't worry, Rebecca. Today is going to be the best day ever. I'm not so sure. Isn't this exciting? Oh, yes. I can't wait to see all the lovely performances. 
And now it is time for the Playgroup Talent Show. Good afternoon to all of our family and friends. And welcome to the Playgroup Talent Show. We have quite the show for you. And we know you're going to enjoy it. Now please welcome Peppa Pig. Hooray! My talent is jumping in muddy puddles. Hooray! Hooray! Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Hooray! Why did the duck cross the road? Why did the duck cross the road? The chicken had the day off. <laughs> <laughs> Abracadabra, prickly thorn, say goodbye to this unicorn. Oh! Oh no, it looks like Rebecca is feeling nervous. Come on, let's help her. Come on, Rebecca, you can do it. Well, that was very special, wasn't it? All of our children worked very hard, but the talent show trophy goes to Rebecca Rabbit. With a little help from her friends, she faced her fears and danced marvellously. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Pepper and George are in their little red car. They are playing I Spy. I spy something green. Yes, clever George. Yes, well done George. You got that one quickly. Your turn Mummy. Okay, I spy something big and blue. Oh look, it's the sea. Daddy, you didn't tell us we were going to the beach. We wanted it to be a surprise. But the beach isn't the only surprise. Pepper and George are spending the day at Granny and Grandpa Pig's camper van by the sea. Hooray! Bye, Pepper. Bye, George. Have fun. See you later. Bye. Bye! Come on, George. Let's go up to our room. Me first. Granny, Grandpa, look at us. Careful up there, you two. Beach! Beach! A wonderful idea, George. Let's go to the beach. Woo! Woo! Not too fast, Pepper and George. The sea isn't going anywhere. Pepper and George love to splash in the sea. Almost as much as they love splashing in muddy puddles. Looks like fun. Come on, Grandpa. Everyone loves the sea. Mmm. Grandpa Pig doesn't seem to be going into the sea. Aren't you coming in, Grandpa? Not now, Peppa. I went for my swim this morning. Big wave coming through. Hey, Grandad Dog. Can't you see I don't have my suit on? Grandpa Pig, who comes to the beach without their swimsuit? Well, I might as well come in now. Hooray! 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 <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Pig have returned. Now, Peppa. What was your favourite part of the day? Well, my favourite part was very funny. 
Go on, Pepper. They will like that story. <laughs> Grandad Dog soaked Grandpa with a big wave while we were on the beach. Grandpa, wet! Yes, George, but Grandpa wasn't wearing a swimsuit. Oh, that does sound funny. I certainly did not see that giant wave coming. You're welcome! It's morning and Peppa is at her playgroup with all of her friends. Ayo! Yes, much better. Good morning, children. Good, Good morning, morning Madame, Madame Gazelle. Gazelle. Now, who can tell me what is so special about today? The, the carnival. carnival! That's correct. Ooh, voila! And right on time. All right, children, let's head outside. Here we go. Go on, have fun. Peppa and her friends don't know where to start. What should we do first, Susie? Um, the Ferris wheel? Yes! Hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. Let's do the carousel next, Susie. Emily, do you want to come on the carousel with us? Oh, yes, please. Any takers for the carousel? Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Hello, Emily. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. Hello, Emily. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. What should we do next? Grandpa Pig! Madame Gazelle said she needed a train driver for the fun fair, and you know I do love locomotives. Now, all aboard! Peppa must have had a very busy day at playgroup. <laughs> Looks like she isn't the only one. Today, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are taking Peppa and George to a special market so they can choose a Christmas tree. Look at all the Christmas trees! There certainly are a lot to choose from. Can we get a really, really big one? Of course we can, Pepper. What about this one? It's a very nice tree, but it's just not quite big enough. What about this one, Pepper? Hmm, that one's not big enough either. Oh, look! There's Miss Rabbit. Maybe she can help us. Hello, Miss Rabbit. We're looking for a really big Christmas tree. Can you help us? Hmm, I think I know just the tree for you. This is the biggest tree in the whole market. It's perfect. We'll take it. I hope it will fit in our living room. Be careful, Daddy Pig. It looks very heavy. Oh no, it's stuck. Come on, everybody. One, two, three, push. Great job, everyone. What a beautiful Christmas tree. Are you ready to decorate it now? Oh, yes. What shall we start with? I think we should start with the tinsel because it's sparkly and shiny and it matches my dress. That's a great idea.
careful, Peppa. You're turning Daddy Pig into a Christmas tree too. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Daddy. That's all right, Peppa. Let's hang the rest of the decorations together. Peppa and George help Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig decorate the rest of the tree. They hang some colourful baubles and some more shiny sparkly tinsel and some flashing fairy lights. There, we're all finished. Well done, everybody. It looks amazing, but I can't help but feel that something is missing. <laughs> That's right, George. There's no star on the top of the tree. It's not in the decorations box. I wonder where it could have gone. We can't have a Christmas tree without a star on top. <coughs> George, where are you going? <coughs> what a wonderful idea, George. We can put your dinosaur on the top of the Christmas tree instead. Rawr! I think that this is the best Christmas tree we've ever had. Pepper and George are having lots of fun drawing Christmas pictures for Santa Claus. What are you two up to? We're making some Christmas drawings to give to Santa. I'm drawing a snowflake and George is drawing a Christmas tree. Well, they look lovely. I'm sure Santa will be very pleased with them. There! All finished. Come on, George. Let's go and show Daddy our Christmas drawings. Daddy Pig is busy wrapping up a Christmas present for Mummy Pig. Daddy, look what George and I drew for Santa. Oh, it's just you two. I thought for a second you were Mummy. What are you doing? I'm wrapping Mummy's Christmas present. It's a surprise so I don't want her to see what it is. Can we give Mummy a present too? Of course you can, but we'll have to go shopping first. How about we go to the Christmas market? Oh yes, please. I bet we'll find Mummy the perfect present there. Here we are! Wow! Look at that tree! It's almost as big as our house! And what big presents! I wonder what could be inside! I bet it's a helicopter! Dinosaur! <laughs> we wish you a Merry Christmas! We wish you a Merry Christmas! We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year! Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. Hello, Madam Gazelle. What are you singing? We're carol singing. Want to try? I would love to, but George and I need to find a special Christmas present for Mummy. Why don't you try the Christmas pudding stall? My mum loves Christmas pudding. That's a very good idea, Candy. Come on, George. Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. Would you like to try some of my famous Christmas pudding? Yes, please. I love Christmas pudding. Here you go. Yum, yum. It's so delicious. I'm glad you like it. Daddy, do you think this would be a good present for Mummy? I think it would be a lovely present, but it's not that easy to wrap a pudding. Why don't we try over there? I think I saw some fluffy slippers that Mummy would like. Great idea! These slippers are so soft and fluffy. Mummy's feet are going to be so warm. Daddy Pig helps Pepper and George wrap the slippers for Mummy. George has the very important job of putting the colourful ribbon on top. Now we can put Mummy's surprise presents under the tree. There! Now Mummy has two surprises to open on Christmas Day. What a lovely day to go outside! Have we got everything we need? Yes, I think so! I've got my ball and George has got his dinosaur. <coughs> Wonderful! Let's go! Oh dear, it's raining! Oh, I guess we'll have to go to the park another day. 
Oh, but George and I wanted to play on the slide. A little rain never hurt anyone. We just need to get dressed in our waterproof clothing. Whee! Mummy and Daddy Pig help Pepper and George get dressed up in their wet weather clothing. Come on everyone, we can all stay nice and dry under my big umbrella. Yippee! <laughs> Oh, good! It stopped raining. You're right, Pepper. Slide! Come on, George. I'll race you to the top. <laughs> Don't worry, George. We can go down the slide together. Ready, George? Slide! Whee! <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> it's okay, it's only a little mud. Look at all those muddy puddles. Puddles! <laughs> Watch me! Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. You try, George. Whee! George loves jumping in muddy puddles too. Wow, that's the biggest puddle I've ever seen. <laughs> Me first. Oh dear, I seem to be stuck. Don't worry, Daddy. We can get you out. Pull! Pull! Almost there! Oh dear! Now we're all stuck in the muddy puddle. This must be the muddiest day ever! <laughs> Today, Pepper and George are visiting the aquarium with Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig. What's an aquarium, Mummy? An aquarium is a special place where lots of different kinds of fish live. Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. Have you come to visit the aquarium? Yes, we've come to look at the fishies. Wonderful. How many tickets would you like? We need four tickets, please. There you go. Have fun! Yippee! Thank you very much! <laughs> the aquarium is full of different types of fish. <laughs> wow! Look at all the fish! Yippee! Hey, where did they go? <laughs> Not so close, Pepper. You're a lot bigger than they are. And we don't want to scare them. There they are. Hello, fishies. I'm sorry that I scared you. Little fish hide in the rocks and plants to keep safe when they see a bigger fish coming. <laughs> but I'm not a fish. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Let's look in the next tank. Oh. Here are some very funny looking fish. They're so beautiful. What are they? They're called jellyfish. Mmm, jelly! <laughs> They're not made of real jelly, George. <laughs> They're so wibbly wobbly. Shall we see what we can find in the next room? Yes, let's go! <laughs> In the next room, Pepper spots a very strange looking creature. Oh, what's that? That's an octopus. George is a little bit afraid of the octopus. Don't worry, George. The octopus isn't going to hurt you. 
Look at how many legs it's got. Why don't you try and count them? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well done, Peppa. Oh, look, Peppa. There's your friend, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. Are you looking at all the fish in the aquarium too? Yes, but I think this tank is empty. No, Susie, don't do that. You'll scare the fish. You were right, Peppa. Wow, that's a really big fish. Fishy! <laughs> The big fish splashed us! <laughs> what a naughty fish! Let's get you little fishies home and dry. Peppa and George love the aquarium. Everybody loves the aquarium. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are taking Peppa and George for a ride in a hot air balloon. Hello Peppa! Hello George! Hello Miss Rabbit! That's a very big balloon you've got there. Why, thank you, Peppa. But it's not just any balloon. It's a hot air balloon. Why doesn't it just float away? <laughs> well, we need to fill it with hot air first. Also, I've tied it to the ground just in case. Well, it all looks very exciting. Shall we go for a ride then? Yes, please. It's a very hot day. I think we should all wear our hats to help protect us from the sun. <laughs> Excellent! All aboard! It's a little bit cramped in here. Everybody ready? Here we go! Why isn't it going up, Miss Rabbit? I don't know. When I pull this handle, it usually makes the hot air balloon go up. I know, you forgot to untie the balloon from the ground. Oh yes, that's right. Don't worry, I'll untie it for you. There we go. Hurry, Daddy Pig. The hot air balloon is leaving without you. Wait for me. Here we go. Up, up and away. Careful, Peppa. It's a long way down. Everything looks so small from up here. I think I can see our car from up here. Wow! And look, there's our house. Oh, hello there. <laughs> I think it thinks you're a tree, Daddy. Its wings must be very tired to have flown all the way up here. Oh dear, where did my hat go? <laughs> Daddy, the little bird knocked your hat off your head. Oh dear, Daddy Pig's head isn't protected from the sun anymore. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. Your hat won't have gone far. Down we go. Hmm, I was sure your hat would be around here somewhere. There it is, your hat stuck in that tree. I'm not quite tall enough to reach it. Thank you, little bird. Thank you, Peppa. Thanks for taking us up in your hot air balloon, Miss Rabbit. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Peppa. Everyone had quite an adventure, didn't they? Yes. Especially Daddy's hat! <laughs> Push me, George. Huh? Oh, swinging just isn't the same without Susie. Peppa is missing her friends. Peppa, it's for you. Oh, how exciting! Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. I have really missed you. 
Me too, Peppa. Shall we play a game? Oh, yes, please. Okay, guess what animal I am? A butterfly. Yes! <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> Peppa, you're a bunny. That's right, Susie. Well done. Oh, look. I wonder who that is. Hi, Danny. Danny, you're upside down. That's because I am a monkey hanging from a tree. <laughs> is this better? No, now you're sideways, Danny. Just like Super Potato. It's Super Danny. Oh. <laughs> Hello, who's there? It's me, Candy. Candy, we can't see you. Oh, sorry, I didn't realise it was a video. <laughs> That's a bit too close now, Candy. Oh, sorry. There. Oh, I'm so happy to see you all. Would you like to hear a joke? It's very funny. Oh, yes, please. OK. Why did the banana go to the doctor? I don't know, Candy. Why did the banana go to the doctor? Because it wasn't peeling well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, time for lunch. You can see your friends again tomorrow if you like. OK, Mummy. Bye, everyone. See you tomorrow, Peppa. Bye, Danny. Bye, Candy. See you soon. Bye. Bye, Peppa. I'll have a new joke tomorrow. I can't wait, Candy. See you tomorrow. Peppa loves seeing her friends. Peppa and her family are outside playing football. <sighs> oh, Mummy, the garden is looking a bit messy. Mm. You're right, Peppa. Grandpa Pig usually helps me with our garden, doesn't he? <sighs> yes, and he can't visit us right now and help us like he used to because we all need to stay home for a little while. I miss Grandpa Pig and Granny Pig too. <coughs> there, there, George. We will see them again very soon. I have an idea. Come on, everyone. Let's go inside. Why don't you two write letters to Grandpa and Granny Pig? What a good idea! Peppa and George can have Granny and Grandpa as their pen pals. What's a pen pal? A pen pal is a friend that you write letters to and then they write letters back to you. Does that mean I will get my very own post? Yes, Peppa. Oh, how exciting! <laughs> <laughs> Dear Granny and Grandpa, I miss you very much. Hope to see you soon. Love, Peppa. P.S. Our garden is very messy without your help. <laughs> Yay! Come on, Peppa and George. Now we have to take our letters to the post box. <laughs> Now all we have to do is wait. Right, Daddy? That's right, Peppa. I'm sure Granny and Grandpa will write back straight away. Ooh! Peppa, George, you have post. It looks like it's from your pen pals, Granny and Grandpa Pig. Yay! Hooray! Read it, Mummy, read it. Dear Peppa and George, thank you for your lovely letters. We miss you very much too, but it won't be too long until we are together again. Be sure to remind Mummy to water the plants. Lots of love, Granny and Grandpa. <laughs> the post is here! No post today. Oh, 
surprise. Granny, Grandpa, I thought I would just get a letter from you, but it's actually you. I told you we would see each other again soon, Peppa. We loved getting all your lovely letters. It made the time go so much quicker. We were great pen pals. We certainly were. Now let me see that overgrown garden. I'm sure I have my work cut out for me. You definitely do, Grandpa Pig. <laughs>